Like, just gotta leave a comment down below and hit that bell. Leave a comment down below and make sure you hit that bell like that so you get notification. Give me the remote wheel. Hmm? What was the use? I'm still stuck on this part. The keys. I'm still on the keys. I'm still on the keys. What was the use, y'all? I am cramping. I'm irritated. My hand is beyond, like, yeah. Excuse my nails. This one, I don't know how this one came off yesterday, but I don't got no now. This lady, the lady in the office told me how to, uh, one lady in the office told me how to get them off. She gave me a paper, y'all. I ain't worried about that right now. I'm irritated. I'm trying to press it like this, and it's not gonna work. You gotta press the other button, then press three. Three. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, what was the use? Oh, I got a headache. I'm irritated. So Y'all, before... Back what I was saying, what is the use? What is the use? What is the use? Yeah, I'm, I'm so frustrated, irritated right now. Like, I'm just like... Yeah, let me tell y'all what happened today. I'm irritated. Liz did my twisties before I tell y'all what happened today. Liz did my twisties and I didn't know how to, like, I didn't know what to do because I didn't want to wear them down. So I said, I'm going to rock it like this. It was looking cute yesterday how I did it last night. I had to take it down because, man, I'm sleeping so good and I didn't sleep sleeping. I woke up with a big ass headache. So it was a cute little bun yesterday until today. But anyway, let me tell you what happened today. I'm freaking irritated. Yeah, I got a headache. Um, so I did my papers, my lease over today. So I feel like they nagging, picky. I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to tell ya. It's irritating. Okay, so it's me and two kids. And two ladies before everybody come in there. So the ladies come out. Oh, you got two different, two different type of income. They like they they just going way. Deep. These are some people who've been there since last year. They still know, I guess you say. Not the beginning of last year, probably like the middle ways or whatever. So remind y'all, I went mean, Thursday. I know they were doing background checks. They were going deep into like the people who used to stay in these apartments. I see my uncle, my brother, and all them. I'm like, what? What y'all trying to find up in me? Like, is y'all trying to get me kicked out? Put out? Y'all trying to find something, something on me? So today, before I get to back to what I was saying, I add that shit up. Like, y'all, they tell me, come on, have you ever got evicted? I like no. They're like, so you never got evicted? No. Why y'all asking that four or five times? Have I got evicted? And I'm saying no. I don't understand that. Like they really trying to find something. Back to what I'm saying. The lady, uh, it was a question I had wanted to ask her, but she was talking to another lady. She had the chair turned. She cool, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure these people out though. She cool, but what it gave me was like they talking so. I think she would tell her about my income. So she started writing stuff like on a piece of paper like this, giving it to the lady. Like they 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 strange or stuff. Don't talk about it. Please don't talk about it. it it's like cause I know they said she said this and she said that. Like and I hear her I'm hearing them talking about me, but they stopped for a cool minute, and started whispering, and I started writing on paper. Come on. So later the other lady, uh when I um right later, like I said, I needed help on something. So later she gonna tell me I tried to wanna interrupt her because 
she was talking. She like, yeah, hey, cause you know I'm helping you. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So way later, the thing when she told me to pick no, I knew I was right, cause I supposed to pick yes. So way right at the end, she said, okay, you was right. You supposed to have picked yes. I like, I knew that part was supposed to be a yes. So I'm not. Okay. Cut to the chase. Okay, I'm staying. Like she like, I got you. I got you. I'ma help you. Da, da, da. She over here looking at DoorDash food. No, I mean, it's about to be that lunch time. So, I've been there from 10 o'clock to 12, probably. And, you know, I'm talking. And, you know, um, she did one paper for me, like, check the boxes. And she was like, oh, she's going down through the list. She's like, well, yeah, you don't got no pets, right? I said, yes, I do. I didn't know how to respond to that. Yes, I do know because normally the other lady um, who know me who do my paperwork, it was a different lady. And I, I'm going to get on, I'm going to say something about that too. So she was like, you don't have to have no pets here. I looked at her in my head. I'm saying, everybody over here. She was about to go, she was, she was waiting to see if I was going to say something or call a panel or something. But I spoke up and said, everybody over here got pets. Even the lady, the, the lady came in and got pets or whatever. And she told my dad, don't put no one, she said, this park meat ground don't put to have no pets here. So I'm looking like, everybody got pets. Come on, no one don't have no pets. She said, I'm like, okay, she's like, well, I'm going to go through the papers, right? So, she's talking about it's 250 to put pets on the application. Every month, I'm going to be three, paying $300 every month. Paying $300 every month. Paying $300 every month, 250 to put on the application. So, I'm looking like, is everybody going to get a note of this uh, on the door? She said, no. Why me? Like, okay, first y'all name me about my, 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 my keys. Then, I'm going to get on that, too. I'm going to get on that, too. Then you want to name me about my pets, though. But, yeah, she's right over here. And I told her, I said, what about the people at the end in the corner who got pets right there? She like, I know, I know. They yeah, they don't post to. Okay, you going to give a, you going to issue me on the paper? Because I already know she did her, her, her lease. Because I know around the time when I do mine, she do hers. And hers, she, be, she always first before me. So... I already talked to her. I already know. She all got them on the lease. I, I talked to someone else. They all got that. They said they did their lease and everything and put pets and everything. They didn't have the same issue I have. Why is their name? Mm. But it was funny when I was in there. A oh, girl who I know, she came in there and said, like, Okay, I have a paper on my door. I've been calling y'all for two or three days and y'all have not been picking up the phone or nothing. I was like, Mm. Mm. Cause I be calling doing the same thing too, and she was telling them off, and I'm like, mm. cause she said I gotta call corporate, cause she said she will, and I'm like, mm. and I know her, cause she did it before, she did it not once but two times. That one right there don't play. I know, I know that that one crazy. I know that I know. So I don't know whatever she had to go on, whatever she had to do. I don't know. They take care of the, the problem and the issue. But half of most people I talk to, they say they call corporate and this on them. And they said I'm not the only one. And I'm like, mm. So now, they want me to call SSI, say why I'm half deaf. They don't provide that. And I was not born half deaf. To be honest, I actually became to be half deaf when I was seven or eight because I had the chicken pops and I had a high, high fear and I missed my whole school years. So I got to get a paper stating why I'm half deaf. Then I got to turn around and get another paper allow my dog to stay with me because I can barely hear my door and hear this and that in my own house. I got to get a paper stating for all this bullshit. And it's funny because I'm talking to the lady, and the other lady, when she checked the box saying, no, I didn't have no pets or whatever, and I told her I did, she called the other lady. The other lady who know me, she said, well, I checked that box. I was like, and I'm looking at him because I know I didn't check it. She checked it. I got the blame for that, that I didn't, I didn't um check that box 
that's her handwriting, and I, I got the blame, and I ain't coming like, man, I'm stuck, I don't know what to say, like, I didn't know if I'm gonna get in trouble or not, because it's just why I got you, I got you, this and that, I don't know, it was so complicated, so later, I had to go pee, y'all, I'm on Mother Nation, and I'm cramping, I'm cramping right now, I'm on Mother Nation. So, I had to go use it. I was holding it. She said, you can't hold it. Just go to the restroom or whatever. I said, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. So, she got up. So, the lady who helped me be forming my papers, um, it was what I told her. I told her something. And then later, she she did like that. She was about to whisper. She was about to tell me something. But before she, when she was about to tell me something, the lady came back so quick to get in the chair. She didn't have time to tell me. She was about to whisper to me and say something. I'm like, damn. She probably said, I'm not she probably think like, damn, why you didn't come to me for your papers or whatever. Yeah. These papers is not like, okay, you gotta fill like 12 sheets of paper. These sheets is like 30, 40, 40, 40 or 52 shoes, probably more than that. And I feel like I spilled out a whole damn book. Last year, when I feel like my um paperwork or whatever, some of that stuff I did not have to do. And I was like, actually, last year, I ain't have a whole lot of paper. It's only had a few. Not a lot. This was, like, y'all trying to be all up in the middle of the fucking business. Like, I know they were trying to be my business. Like, they are like, oh, just like they said. Well, next said, oh, you make two income? Okay, we need a, we need your second income. And I'm like, hmm. Because something ain't right. How, how, how y'all believe me talking about something ain't right? Y'all the one who got, got my shit up in the, in, in the, um, and sister talking about something ain't right. I'm going to have to fix. Me? Fix what? Baby. I'm just quiet. I said three things. And I said, this ain't my fault. This right here is not my fault. I swear. This is not my fault. Don't blame me for y'all action. Like, it's pissing me off. Then, um, uh, after that, they're telling you how many pets. So many people over here got four or five pets in their house. That's why they they picking on me. And then the funny part, um, when I finally I knew something was up, something was suspicious, because when I looked around, there was a lady. I saw I looked like she was recording me. So when I got up and I had to go use the restroom, I didn't want to go because I was on man of nature and I'm in him. One of the managers, she was in the hallway trying to record everything when I was doing. She when she saw me get up, she tried to play that off and tried to put the phone on her ear. Y'all already whispered passing papers. The other manager, that this is when everybody was coming in the office because I went early. Y'all recording everything. I am mean, talking. Even though they talking about, oh, whatever you don't want, you can throw it away. Let me go to y'all house and figure out what I can throw away or whatever. Like, they don't understand, like, then when you lose a whole lot of stuff in your storage, when your storage gets flooded, you got to start all over from scratch from A to Z to start over. And it's still taking time to get a whole lot of stuff in this apartment. But you know what? I'm going to say something because I got something that I'm about to do tomorrow. Um, What am I saying? So when I came out, what else happened? Then I go, did you put your tub? Yeah. There's a few stuff that I get fixed in my tub or whatever. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I had some more paperwork to do. I thought they all them up in the paperwork. Man, I think I feel like I've been there from 10 to 1 something. I thought I was done with that. I'm thinking I'm done. I had a whole nother book to do. She said it was not a lot. Nah, these, these papers is for like, cause they, suppo- they might as well just re- rebuild these apartments over. But they not going to do that. they just going to remodel. So I had to sign some papers stating that I'm going to move to some other apartments while they remodel this apartment. And I'm going to come back to this apartment. But I went ahead. These, there's some apartments I want to get into on the stop. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to get these apartments over here on this side. I want them calling them and to see if they pass my applications. They say yes. Yeah, so I'm going tomorrow. I wasn't going to go today, but I'm cramping. I said, I'm going tomorrow. But I feel like the lady who I talked to on the phone, I feel like she got an attitude problem. She's like, mm. I did ask. I'm like, yeah, it is. Like, I was surprised because yeah, there's some promise I've been trying to get into for the longest. And it's funny how she said, mm, on the phone. Because when I was in the office with this, uh, the lady who was doing my paperwork, she was on the phone. So I, well, I say this two or three. She repeat herself two or three times. And she's like, you don't know telling 
what the other person doing on the other end while you talking to them on the phone? Because they can just do some stuff that you can't see. Like, a, they can have attitudes, faces, everything. And you can't see that because you're on the phone talking to them. And that's what she was doing. And she was doing that while I'm, like, sitting at the desk while she talking to the person. Imagine when I'm on the phone asking them about the application for their apartment. She probably could have been doing the same thing, too. Like, mm, mm, what the fuck is, mm, mm, like, what? Make it make sense. Oh, it was something I came close to telling them make it make sense song, but I catch myself. Then what it gave me was like when I'm done like two hours later, cause I had told her I've been having trouble getting my social security card and everything. And my ID where was going. My two hours later, she like, I need to show her social show and this and that. Okay, all these different times I've been here for six no, actually seven. I've been here for seven whole Years, I never had to get a copy of my ID or social. I only had to do that one time, one time. So this is some, this is something new. And I guess they surprised that I got a social security card. I'm supposed to be coming in mail. I guess they're like, wow. Yeah, y'all, y'all picking on so before they do my lease over. Even though I did my lease and everything, I gotta get two papers stating why I'm there. And how I became deaf you know, when I was six or seven years old. Look on my See how much on then I got a paper from my dog. Y'all don't do this to everybody else. And I got to see some. I got to see a few people rent. I'm mean, like, I feel like I pay more rent than anybody over here. Even they got dogs and everything. So I'm gonna come back to the office part, but oh crap, I came home. This is why I didn't want to give a copy of my bottom key. I gave him a copy of my bottom key. Oh, Talia! Talia Taylor! Hold up, bro. Give me that paper right there. You, don't you got food in the microwave? Go, go check your food. You mean my food? Go pick your food there. So when I, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm happy. Um, I'm ready to rap. But, um, so when I get home, this is on my door. Nothing on it or whatever. When I get home, when I see that paper, why in the middle of my bottom door is unlocked? Why? I need an explanation. Like, why y'all didn't like the bottom lock? Y'all locked the top, but y'all couldn't like the bottom. But yes, y'all boohoo complaining about a freaking bottom lock. Complaining about a freaking bottom lock. And here y'all go. Y'all got a freaking bottom lock. Why y'all didn't use the bottom lock to lock my door? Then you get in. It smell like pure mess. I don't know y'all see, see the setting and stuff. I got lit. It smell like pure mess. smell like onions and everything else. My house was not smell like that when I left. I got air fresheners and everything around right here. Get to the restroom. The restroom door unlocked. I don't know how. Kind of find out the second restroom door unlocked. So I'm looking like, why y'all unlocked my second restroom door? Like, why y'all trying to go in my room? What y'all trying to get? Pictures? Snap? What? What y'all trying to get? Make it make sense or something. Or y'all coming to fix something in there? Because I know y'all see, since y'all went in there, I know y'all see, the last time y'all been here, I know y'all see my closet door is messed up. My closet door was messed up when I first moved in here. I'm not paying for no mother hole in the wall that it was already there when I moved in. I'm not paying for no scrapes on the wall that it was already there from a different making person that I didn't do. Make it make sense. The only thing they did when I see they fixed the mirror. Dude. I don't even I wasn't even here to see did they fix did they paint over the mirror dude, or did they chopped it off or no I mean they probably painted over it 'cause they 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 painted my tub. They painted it. I need a whole new tub. I just need a whole new tub because that paint is not gonna last. It, the yellow stuff Okay, when I moved here, they ain't no brand new so They probably painted it from when I came in because they got yellow, red stuff. That tub is old. And when they painted it, you can see where it's peeled at. They did not paint the soap bar. The soap bar is still peeled. That ain't paint. The, the thing 
the tall rack is not fixed. I don't even know if they fixed the bed. I don't know. But something something fishy. And you know, I, I'm just sitting there. I'm sitting. I'm sitting and smiling. Like I, I think I think they think I'm thinking like, oh, okay, everything is she good, she good and then cool. That's how I was last year. Just sitting there thinking like they want me to think everything. They're like, oh, she think everything good and she gets good. So I'm like, yeah, we got you with this and that. No, last year, this year, I'm peeping, I'm peeping shit. I'm just going on with the flow, like, bro, something ain't right. Something wasn't even right last year. Something ain't right this year. Something, something ain't right. I and what making me mad was like. The part, you know, the manager that who came in the middle of last year, and I told her everything about my apartment was my mom's apartment. That just made me mad because when I went in that Thursday and I seen her, and she told me they need to close my case of fire. That's why they they didn't work on none of my stuff because they wanted a bottom lock, and I'm always home though. But now y'all got a bottom lock. <laughs> why you didn't lock the freaking door? My head hurt. And then I gotta go. I gotta go back to the office again. It would have been tomorrow or today, but I'm gonna go back sometimes next week. And I'm gonna see what else is new that they gonna pick on me about. And they be picking, picking and recording and stuff and everything like. Y'all recording me? Well, it was something. It was something. Something, something I want to tell y'all. I think I did. But still, I'm still stuck on this big... Oh, yeah, they didn't want to look back to see how long I've been here. So, I had to estimate. I had to... I knew, I knew how long I've been here for six years. But I think it was seven. Because 2017... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It been seven whole years, and they did not want to look back to see how long I've been here. And she was like, damn, you been here for that? Yes, that's what I say. Everything changed over here. Everything is different. Policy and everything. Policy and everything. I told her, break. And then everything. I, told, I said so much. Like, if I'm telling her, like, I'm constantly telling every manager what's wrong with my freaking apartment and nobody ain't doing nothing about it it's like i'm constantly telling, i'm constantly complaining complaining then i'm like okay when we got these news people last year i told the lady think she's gonna do something this is a whole that, that, that was a whole last year and this is a whole nother year ain't nothing have nothing been nothing to do about it and until I had to make a call, I didn't want to make a call, but I had to make a call. Cause everybody else was getting on me, talking about you need to do this, you need to do that. Like I'm am, I'm giving them a chance before I make this call. But we we get different managers every like two three months, and right now I feel like they're trying to find a way to get me out of my apartment because it's, it's, it's nagging and picky, and they found out how much income. They're like, damn, she get a lot of income. Okay, but that's none of y'all business because I get a lot of whatever. Me. Me, me. No. I'm this. I'm, I'm, I'm t- Let me see how much they make every month. Uh, let me see how much they make every two or three weeks or whatever. It's like I'm not talking about them, but it's getting to a point. It's getting to a point. Like, I'm gonna say it like this. It's getting to a point. Like, like I say, it. it's getting to a point. Like I think I ain't gonna say say nothing back. Like the part of a doctor when I said I can't have no pets. I said, and they, they were about to say, what well, we're going to do this. I said, hold up. I said, everybody else have pets over here. It's getting to a point, like, they're like, oh, she's saying this and that. Like, oh, no, it's getting to a point, like, when they said, I can't have a door lock, a door knob. And then they trying to get me be like, okay, we, you can put this door. No, it's getting to a point that everybody else got a, a door knob over here. So it's like, they don't, they don't like the fact 
They don't like the fact that I'm telling them, I'm telling them back, like, y'all trying to get, get me to get rid of this, but everybody got this over here. Y'all trying to pick this, but everybody else. Okay, to me, my upper rise is, they come out, everybody got their door, they don't, their door up? No, they don't. If that's the case, if I can't have a door lump on my door, and everybody else got one, why you can't put papers on everybody's door and say that we want to have regular doors? Everybody's doors make different. Everybody's doors not the same. Some people's doors got two door knobs, two locks on top, or three on their door. Everybody's door made different. Some people got that heady duty door, that hard door. Some people got that thin door. Like the soft door, you can just kick down. Everybody door made different over here. So when you me for the pest issue, right? She said she ain't. She they ain't putting no paper on everybody door tomorrow. You can't have pets over here. They ain't doing that. But y'all want me to get rid of mine? My pet only used the restroom one time a day or two times. That's all. If it's rainy, she's not going outside. She ain't gonna play that shit. If it's in the morning, she she ain't gonna go. This this girl will use that too, whatever time. That's all. My pet is like a calm pet, like very calm and loving. She don't do too much. She really like sometimes she don't let me know when she gotta use it. I have to estimate, be like, okay, come on, let's go use it. She don't really bark that much. The only time my pet bark is when someone at the door. Like the manager who been knowing me for a long time. No, I'm not the manager. The agent. The agency who been knowing me. No, the assistant. The assistant who been knowing me for a long time. She told that lady reason why I have a pet. Because I'm horny here. I'm half that. She told her that my apartment is way in the bedroom. And I can barely hear my door. She told her she can have that pet. She was like, that's why she wouldn't even want her to be like, I'm cool with her. Like, I've been home with her the longest. I wanted her to do my paperwork, but she wasn't there. I had to make a, a what's I call it? A permit, whatever. Because at first, they, she was like, come back Friday to do my what's the name because I ain't have my papers because I'm looking like every time I do my lease I don't have to have these papers or whatever. That's how I was surprised. So she was like, come back. Then she told my mother, we're going to come back. We're going to do this and that. And then she told me, you know what? Come my day. I got you. I'm like, okay, cool. But she asked me before I told her I was half deaf. She asked her, she like, why you got pets for? You don't need pets. I told her I'm half deaf. I can't hear my door. I can't hear my dog. Until you clean them dishes in there. No, I can't. Another one. The lady said you good, but I don't like the fact how I got in trouble for her reaction. That's what I'm saying. I could thank her for like doing my paper race and everything, but I hope ready to move, and I hope, I hope. I pray to the Lord, to the name of Jesus, I pray I get a house. I pray I move. But, if I move, I pray I have carpet. Because I thought Houston, Texas, barely got apartments with got carpet. I pray I got two closets, if not a big-ass closet. Because I need more space. Everybody who comes to me, they say I need more space in my apartment. They say my apartment's too small. Everyone bedroom apartment made different over here. But what I'm about to say, I pray to the Lord in Jesus' name. I pray that when we all have to move out of here for them to remodel this apartment, I do not want to go to Garden City. I don't want to go to Garden City. I don't want to go to have a scratch. Them two, I don't even want to go to your building. Even though she said they're going to be regular apartments, that's cool. It'd be cool. It's cool because. Maybe I, maybe right, I could stay over there, but I'm going to permit her in tomorrow. Because she's playing on Charles' birthday party. Exactly. Tomorrow, I'm going to permit her. I'm going to miss this permit because it's in the front, but they say after they remodeled in the permits, 
we all have our same apartment over. It's like I kind of want to stay to see my apartment get remodeled, but I'm I, I'm I'm, it, I'm, I'm irritated. I'm, I feel like I went to school today. I feel like I went to high school. I feel like I went to school and college. And like certain stuff I ask, they can't add, they can't answer. They can't answer some stuff. I say they had to ask somebody else. It's so like, man, I miss the old people. I'm like, let me ask myself, do I really miss the old old people? The old people who've been here for years? Maybe one person. Matter of fact, I'm the the most person whom I miss regardless is Angel. No, Angie. Her name is Angie. That's the only person I miss. And maybe LeVar. Yeah. I think I said her name right. Don't know only two, but mostly Angie. That's the only person I miss because that lady right there. I miss her. She is so sweet. She's a sweetheart. I hated that she left. I really did. And I understand why she left. Because they should have made her a manager. Because she's getting everything. They spent all the effort work on her. And she was just an assistant. She basically, and sometimes she was in the office by herself doing everybody's stuff. I had to find my own apartment. She gave me my paper. I told this guy. She gave me my paper to find my own apartment. Because it was so many people in the office. I did my paper stuff. I had to find my own apartment. When I found my own apartment, there's a few things. I had a hole in, a hole in the wall by the refrigerator. Then the man just talking about, oh, you got to fry break. Oh, uh, how she said it? Well, I forgot. No, I know how she said it. I just kind of don't want to say how she said it, though. But anyway. I had a hole in the mall for years. I don't know if I was to fix that. Um, my closet door. She's hungry. Talia, come here. Cool. I'm crying for Can you see her? After that, I ain't gonna bother you no more. Y'all, they been working my ass off today. These these twins, the y'all do all of them for twins. Seven, can you do this? Seven, can you do that? I'm like, okay, yeah. But I, if I say, wait till it be my turn, it's gonna be my turn. And I said, I'm gonna get. I said, I'm gonna do them the same way. They been working me though, but it's it's cool. I just gotta watch what I do, watch what I say around them because maybe. Yeah, I'm supposed to take them to the park today, but it is cold outside, and I'm cramping, and then it's like, I want to take them to the park, but it's cold, and I don't want to get sick, I don't want to get sick, but I was sick, I was sick from Thursday, and some of these videos, y'all cannot tell I was sick, I was sick. It's always in the morning and at night. I have this cold. Like, I can't breathe on my nose. Um, my nose is running a little bit in the office. So it's like, I'm getting over a cold. I only had a few cold medicine left. And then I'm taking care of Beautiful. I'm taking care of her too. That's another thing. Because I think they're trying to call the law panel on Beautiful and everything. Like, Oh, I think they want her or something. Like it's not it's not that serious. Like they make it seem like I don't know. But most people who got a dog like this one right here, her dog bigger than mine. They got big dogs too. And then one cross when we got a dog too. Make it make sense. Cause none of them ain't paying no goddamn um rent <laughs> for, for these pets to stay here. And what get me Y'all tell me, they tell me they can't have no pets on this, on this, on this, um, my mind is so fucked up right now because I'm irritated, I got a headache, and, like, there's so much going through my head. This complex, tell me we can't have no pets on this complex. There's homeless pets on this complex. There's homeless pets be walking around here looking for food. There's homeless cats around here looking for food, wishing to have a home. Tell me we can't have no pets on this complex. That's homeless. So what? The homeless pets, um, how they gonna pay? How they gonna pay rent? And they don't got nowhere to stay. The pound, cause when the pound get them, the pound might kill them, or the pound might uh get them adopted. And then sometimes 
the pets might come back after they get adopted or some or sometimes some pets they run away from the um pound truck somehow get out they escape off the, the pound truck how you want to say it or or they probably escape away from the, the pet place or whatever and i know i ain't saying the truck right hold up because i gotta think in my head i'm just gonna say the pound truck oh and they might come back here and then if they come get them again they're gonna run away and I, i'm like i'm they don't know this dog is so attached to me like if anyone take this dog this dog is not gonna survive this dog is not gonna make it like i swear like if they come get this dog or give it for adoption this dog gonna die but god forgive me regardless this dog is too freaking attached just like a cat these cats are too attached to me they don't leave my side and i said like if they take they're not gonna last i'm just for real they they gonna stop eating they gonna stop whatever and it's not my fault. It's gonna hurt me because I'm, 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 I really want to cry. Reason why I really, I kind of want to cry, cause I miss all my other cats I had, and I had to leave them because we was moving. And two, I took care of this cat as a baby growing up. This cat had like three or four different generations. Do this, I really had nowhere to go. And then two way we fired stay with my cousin, whatever. I have been running about two cats all the time, and she was never got pregnant. She probably been here by today. I don't know if she's still alive or the other pets is too, but I had different type of cats. But I never had a dog before. This is my first time having a dog. Having a dog. I had cats. I think I had cats out here. I never, I never had cats in California. But I'm just saying, like, this dog will die. Like, this dog will pass. I'm not going to say that they die. This dog will pass away. Cause the dog is in love with me, and I'm in love with the dog. I tell the dog, I tell, I tell the dog, I love you. I tell my cats, I love you. They understand me. They understand the word. Come here. No. Yes. No. Don't do that. Stop. I train these pets, and they act like human beings. They don't really don't act like animals. They act like human beings. And sometimes, like one time. I was about to eat some bad food and didn't know it. My pet saved my life from eating that food. Because the last time, I didn't listen. I been here eight. And I was sick for about two weeks. Two weeks straight. But, yeah. And I think, like, I think that's what they want. They want me to get rid of some of my stuff. They don't want me to have no pet. Like, how how, how do they like it? I know they got kids. How do I like it if I call CPS? That's the same way. Cow on the pound. Hey, come pick up these pets. From the pound. That's CPS right there. Take your pets. I know I'm some like, really? Or some animals? You for real? Yeah, but at this moment, I treat my pets like they're my kids, you know? Like, my, like they're my child, my baby, whatever. They keep me happy, hyped up, whatever. And they're not bad pets because I don't keep them in a the cage. Like, some people, they keep their pets in a cage or whatever. My pets are not bad. I can leave them out, come back home. My apartment don't be towed up. It don't be messed up. It don't be like that. You know how some pets, like, when they leave, you come home and they will probably be messed up or your house be messed up? My pets don't do that. Like, sometimes... Maybe they want to stay in the room sometimes, or sometimes they come and stay in the living room. And it's depend how they is. But if I'm asleep, they going to sleep. My pets are friendly. My pets get happy when I have company, because they know I barely have company yet. They get really happy. That's why, and something like some of the people, the people who, who know them, they'll spoil my pets. I spoil my pets too, but they spoil. And they got clothes. But right now, I haven't gave my pet a bath because she's been sick lately and her eye is starting him. So when she unnationally uh, done, I'm going to have to, uh, I don't want to cut her under her hair, but I'm going to have to because it's knotted up and I got to brush and comb her hair. Pretty much. I remember one time I could say this that I didn't know, and I, sh- I probably would have told the people in the office, but I don't know. Should I, should I tell them or don't? One time, 
I I don't know if I forgot or what. I draw some um some uh, I guess say dishwater. I draw some dishwater to wash my dishes. I thought I turned the water off. I'm in a restaurant using it, and my dog barking like why is she barking for it like. You know, I'm on my phone, this in the restroom. I'm like, why are you barking? Like, what's up? Kind of fun. Ow. I left the water on in the kitchen. And I almost overflowed my whole kitchen. Overflowed. That's what she was barking at. She barked. And see, I can't post to tell her that. I'm like, no, because they probably look into that and ask some more stuff. Then another time, I left my restroom water on. I was asleep. I don't know. I got up to use the restroom. I started, I turned the water off. I went to sleep. The water was on, and I didn't know. My dog was barking. And I'm like, what you barking at? And she barking at the door of the restaurant. I opened it, and I found out I left the restroom sink on. I didn't know, because I, I came out of here. I didn't know my ear. I thought I turned it off. Like, certain stuff. That only happened, like, two times for the restroom, two times in the kitchen. So now I would check, like, okay. It be so much on my mind. Like, you know, when so much on your mind, you be, like, here and there. Or if something you got to do here and there. Like, it be other stuff, like, it be other stuff she be barking at to let me know, hey, you got to do this. Hey, like, she be reminding me and stuff that, because I got a lot going through my head right now. I mean, so much. That's why, like, before I leave, I check my house. I check my house, like, two or three times before I leave, make sure everything good. I check my house again at night before I go to sleep. I don't know. That's how I am. But, Yeah. I mean, there's one time someone tried to someone tried to break in like two or three times. She barked. The reason why I got me dog because someone did try to break in two or three times, and I said I gotta get me a dog. Yeah, I need to get me a dog. Pretty much. I'm just so over it. I'm just like literally over. It. And then in the in them books. In them papers, it say you can have pets in them papers. Say you can have pets in your house. She told me I can't have no pets. But in them papers, it say you can have pets in your house. Let me say one more time. Maybe I'm not saying this right. Maybe I'm not making it make sense. But I'm, 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 my hand fucked up. In the paper, say you can have pet. My hand hurt. My hand hurt. Even for a door. Anyway, I'm about to end this video. But before I end it, I'm going to say... On the merchant contact list. Normally, I just put my mom and that's about it. But this time, on the merchant contact, they got in. Who gonna come to the house to get your clothes? Or, and they gotta know who gonna come get your food for you? Or who gonna come get your furniture? Did you go to my Well, who gonna come get your dog? You can't have it. I said, my mom. Wait, what the heck? Like, oh my gosh. But, yeah. Too much in one day. My hand, and then I heard them some I stood on her and have a bottle lock in her door. Everybody over here got a different door lock, like making babies. I'm about to get drifted. My hand. Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all something. So, last year when the managers came last year. Y'all yeah, know some people say they wine bottles or they liquor bottles. Just tell me I can't have it in my house. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. They told me I can't have it in my house. And I like to collect. So, I have to throw it away. My head is pounding. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. This this gotta go. I'm dead serious. My head oh my nails is pounding. My head is pounding. Like yeah. I can't even take my ponytail out my freaking head. My head is like literally pounding. Like I have a headache. I even though I ate. Shit. But yeah, they were like, that's what they were saying. It make it so hard to get this out because of my freaking nails. But I get hair caught up in my. Some of my hair been breaking out because of my nails. But yeah. I don't know. I'm just so over it. Like, make it, make it just make sense. I don't know. I'm just, I'm ready to move, but the only thing, I just don't want to go backwards again. You feel me? Woo! Oh! Yeah, I just. Mm. I don't know. I just don't want it. Oh my gosh. Y'all don't understand. My head hurts. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, Whew, it feels much better. It said, oh, what a relief. Yeah, excuse how I'm looking, but baby. Lying. Right, okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I have a headache and it is pounding like so much. It's just pounding. Anyway, so I'm like, make it make sense. Like, I don't know, like, sometimes I'm like, I feel like, how can I say this right in this? I'm going to say, if I start, when I say like some sense, like when I say some common sense, like some sense, sense, like literally when I be on that surgery, I feel like they can't answer my questions. I'd be like, the, like, damn, she right. She, yeah, yeah, I know I'm right. Then it's like, when I say stuff, it's like, they're like, damn, she right. Let me see what else I could throw in and say. They have to add the extra does or something on it. And I'm like, but the way how they add the extra does, they got to ask another person and then come back and tell me. I'm looking like, why you couldn't tell me? Why you have to go ask that person? Like, you the one saying this and that. So I'm saying this and that too. And you got to ask another person. All right. Yes. Thank you for helping me with my stuff, though. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Then, then, when they tell me stuff, I, I specifically go back over what they say. And then they say, oh, no, you can't do this and that. But, yes, you did say this is your policy. And they, these people over here got the same thing you, uh, with your policy. Why I can't be on the same policy what they have over here? Oh, no, you can't do this and that. You can't have saying. Ain't, ain't she supposed to treat people equally or whatever? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm just so over it. I don't know. It's so much stuff. I, it's some other stuff I was going to say before I had got a phone call. And I forgot. I think if I never say that about no social security card that was coming through me, or if I never say I had a hard trouble, I think she would have had text me saying, oh, I just said. I think she would never have said that. It's like either they, they're trying to find a way to get me on my place. They they bring in all this stuff, and when I bring in, it's funny they bring all this stuff. 
So when they say something about me, I be saying, well, everybody else do. She say, oh, this don't qualify. She gonna tell me, it, it don't qualify everybody who stay here. It only qualify for me. But it's the same shit, just like the dogs. Everybody got shit to my own. It don't qualify. No, it's just something for me. Why only for me? Why is this only me? Why? This, this, this right here before I even called the overhead people on them, even though they've been here since last year, I did not call the overhead. I called the overhead people on them this year, but last year I didn't call the overhead on them. I had the same fucking problem. I had the same shit that I'm doing with now. I had the same shit last year when I met them, when they were trying to be nosy and this and that and saying different stuff and everything. I had the same stuff. It's like they were trying to pick on me last year, kick me out, and I ain't too much know them, they ain't too much know me. But yeah, and see, I was coming and saying this and that, and I ain't, I know I ain't the only one, because last year when I was in the office, when I met everybody, and it was a girl who came, um, you gotta make three times the rates to stay over here. Now, it's four times the rent. You gotta make four times the rents to stay in these goddamn apartments over here and the girl was going back and forth with the people in the office now I, I i see why and then like i don't know if she's still staying here or not and then when i was in the apartment uh last year in the office in the apartment last year i was in the office some other girls going at it with them i i see why and come on because they pray me, I tell me, well, she ain't going through this, and she ain't this and that. And, like, I was kind of paying attention. I really wasn't paying attention. I was kind of and wasn't. And I understand where that girl was coming from. I understand. I understand, girl. I know what you mean. That's how most people tell me. People over here tell me, you need to get... People say over here, I, I could do better. People tell me, I don't deserve to stay over here. People over here tell me, I can find somewhere else to stay. They say, I don't need to be over here. Practically, people are like, oh, you still stay over here? You need to move. Some people tell me, um, get your ass out these apartments. I'll stay over here. Da, 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 da. And you know, I understand that. And people was like, you smarter than this. You smarter than being here. You could be somewhere else living mighty highly high instead of being up in here or whatever. They're like, these ain't no good apartments for you. You could be doing care for yourself instead of living over here or whatever like you don't need this lifestyle that's what most people be saying and like you're just too smart they're like this and that but then you know what at the end of the day Hello? i found out today like <laughs> they gonna judge me for anything they gonna judge me they don't get a chance to get to know me it's crazy. They lean back. She know what you mean. Cause I laugh and say, I, I laugh and say, yeah, I'm babysitting. I'm babysitting my sister cat. What she, she like? What you mean about you babysitting your sister cat? Like I'm babysitting until she come and get her cat. Then from there, what you mean was how you, how you came to be there? She leaned back. I'm about to get the runarounds. I got hair. See, that's why I said I can't wait to get these nails. I got hair on my nail so basically i gotta go to the doctor stating how i got deaf how i became deaf i can't use my old papers i gotta stay in my this and that then i gotta stay to have a pet in here then i gotta go to another doctor stating for this and that if I want, I want, and then, I'm sorry, y'all. I fell down my stairs. That could have been a lawsuit because the stairs ain't fixed. My stairs are unstable. Unstable. Unstable stairs. And I've been telling them about them stairs for the longest. They is unstable. I got a headache. I don't know how much I keep saying it, but I need to pop some pills because not like that, but like some some Tylenol pills or something. Cause I'm I'm cramping a little bit and whatever. I'm trying to get the smell out my house. I'm 
tired. Like, how deep they gonna go to verify stuff about me staying here? They come out, they act like I've been here for three years. No, I've been here longer than that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm about to end this video. Because I'm about to take me a shower. I'm about to take me some medicine. And yo, and yo, yes, I'm gonna be going back to the gym soon. I went working out Thursday. I'm proud of myself. I went, I went Thursday. I should do a lit check, huh? I don't know. I should do a lit check, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. One thing before I end this, I don't like, I don't know. I just don't know. Every time I stretch my hair, I want to get a flat iron, blow dry, but I'm like, oh, I ain't ready to get heat damage. I'm not ready for all that. It's not always stressed out. I be want to wear my hair down, but it's drink too much. Like, it got to get, like, if I stretch my hair, I don't know how you get one time. I'm talking to another side. But I'm like, I'm about to end this video. But every time I stretch my hair out and like the lint, it be like way right here. It draws up. So it's like, I don't even get a chance to wear my hair down no more. I just, like, what the hell? What the hell? And it's already stinking up already. So, yeah. I'm this not with the, with the business on it, but yeah, I'm about to, I got bad strength, strength is how you want to say it, my hair strength up too much to be wearing it down too, it's wet in the back, but yeah. I'm about to end this video. Y'all see? This is what I'm telling y'all. Y'all see? You see how I move? I don't know what's wrong with this side. Yeah. I should. But yeah. Y'all wanna see? But well, anyway. I'm about to end this. Y'all look so goddamn old. <laughs> I look old. Y'all, I look old as fuck. Uh-uh. Anyway, I'm about to end this video. But you're going back in, in the gym, like I said. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this long video just pray for me and i'll do the same for y'all i'll pray for y'all too i don't i don't even want to pray for me this is crazy how like, i just came out from my mom and just say pray for me this is so freaking crazy but i don't even say i'll pray for y'all and whoever is sick my blessings go to the the people who's traveling i pray that they make it to their destination the people on oh my head is pounding Mm, the people who are sick in hospital, I pray for a head to toe, Lord God. I pray that everyone make it home safely tonight, today, even from work, wherever they travel. Lord God, Jesus, I just come to you in the name of Jesus. I pray for the homeless people who are homeless, I food with for a shelter over, a shelter over their head, Lord God. And someone that has to, to guide them to the right place of mind, Lord God. We need help for life. Pray for the people who need guidance, Lord God. I pray for the people on their drive with goat they trying to reach, Lord. I just pray for the people who passed away in the name of Jesus. I pray for their family, Lord to God, to hit them from head to toe, to have a better life, to move on, who's dealing with someone who passed away. Lord God, I pray for the people. Who's having ups and downs? Oh, 
God. I pray that they make it through life, Lord Jesus God. I pray. I pray for the people who's going through so much in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that you help them, touch them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, I pray for people who's having difficulties trying to find a job. Lord, I pray that some miracle come their way to help her find a job. Lord, I pray for the people who's having trouble with financial problems, keeping an apartment or financial problems, looking for an apartment or financial problems, having trouble uh, needing an apartment or people who's about to go homeless. I pray that you can help them have someone special walk in their life to give them the hope, the prayer, to, uh, to open hand, give them an open hand to help them, Lord God. Just touch them in the name of Jesus. And the people who's in school, my prayers go out to the people who's at school, Lord God, who need help, and people who's bullying kids, Lord God. I pray that she just work with the people who's at school, make them stop bullying one another, Lord God. And the people who's thinking about killing themselves, Lord God, please talk to them. Please have someone come in their life to help them not to quit suicide, Lord God. I just pray that you just send someone along your way to touch them, to talk to them, Lord God. I just pray that people out there, Lord God, he could do better in life, Lord God, who's willing. Positive people in people's life. Remove negative people out of people's life that they don't need to be around. Lord God, show them who they real friends is and who they friends not, Lord God. Show them that they can do better without them negative people. Pick positive people in their life, Lord God. Look like right, help them with their relationship. They in relationship need and they relationship up and down like that. Guide them the best way you can. Give them a signal, a sign, Lord Jesus. God. Give them something. Lord God, please watch over the people that they with Jesus who gotta go to sleep tonight. Keep evil people away from them. Keep no harm away from them, Lord God. Breathe error. Pray that they make it through the next day, Lord God, of waking up to live and see another day. And if y'all do wake up and see another day, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Pray the Lord that y'all woke up to see another day. And if y'all in drama, I pray that the Lord will move all that drama away from y'all. I pray that he move all that negative energy, that evil stuff away from y'all. I just pray. Yeah, I can keep going on. Okay. I'm going to tell you, my sisters, they'll tell you, I can pray. I'm going to pray. Anything you need prayer, I'm going to pray. Even when it's time to eat, they were like, okay, so that's So they be asking me, though. They be wanting me to pray over the phone. <laughs> but right now, I could seriously pray if I want to, which I did pray. But I have a headache, and the way how I'm wanting to pray, I can't pray how I want to because my hand hurt. But you know what? The, on the prayer that I do, I pray for anyone who's going through it right now, that name of Jesus will fix it. I'm for real. Fix it. Talk to the Lord. Just talk to Jesus. It might don't happen in due time, but it will happen when the time is right, when God is ready. When you're doing this time, when you're going through a struggle, and you're like, God ain't going to do this and that, just give it time. Go to a carpet. Go in the closet to talk. Sit in the dark and talk. Oh, go somewhere where it's quiet to talk. It might just not gonna happen, but it's going to happen. It's, you just gotta have faith. But to be honest, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. What's this in my hand? I gave hope on on certain stuff. I still pray about it time to time. But like other stuff, other stuff I've been praying, it is coming, it's slowly coming here and there. But there's one thing I did get up on, but I haven't gave all the way up, and I'm still having faith on this waiting. Maybe because it's not, maybe because it's not my time to shine yet, to have what I want. 
I just gotta be patient and wait. They say sometimes if you rush stuff, it's going to come, but it's not going to come how you expect it and how you want it. That's why you got to take your time, be patient, because sometimes stuff happens for a freaking, for a reason. Yeah, this came off of some clothing line. This ain't no hair. This is not no hair. Um, it came out some clothing thing or something. But yeah, sometimes stuff happens for a reason. So I'm about to end this video. Y'all see how my hair going up? Every time I do this, it's gonna go up, up, up. They both going up. Look at it. Up, up. My hair is is dry. But I said the strinkest of my hair is real. Anyway. I'm going to say amen to everything. Amen. All I can say, count your blessings and thank God what you got now and thank the Lord what you is receiving right now at this moment. Even though you're trying to get what you want as a fast card, take your time. Just thank the Lord where you at. Thank the Lord bring you out the storm. Thank the Lord that you're not in no danger and no harm right now. Thank the Lord for what you become. Thank the Lord what you have. Sorry, y'all. My camera, my my phone, my drive. Thank the Lord what you have right now. Thank the Lord that you aiming for the goal that you want in life right now. Do not give up. If you got a future, aim at that future. Don't go on no one negative. Or don't go on some, someone gonna say something negative to you. Don't go on that. And always, it's always good to get two or three opinions. And mostly, the best part is always good to talk to the Lord and Jesus to God. I want to say it. And it was good to talk to them and pray about it. Don't never give up what you want. Don't stop just because of this and that. And another thing, um, I used to put myself last all the time. And I said, this time, I'm not going to do that. I used to put myself last when I had a car. I used to take people here and there when I had a car. Well, I don't got a car no more. You think they take me anyway? Hell no. Even if I say I got gas for them, I don't depend on nobody. I depend on myself. I don't depend on nobody. That's one thing I don't depend on. I'm like that at a, at a young age. I probably like that when I was like... 12, 13, 14. There, I depend on my stuff. I do stuff on my own. Like, I don't got time for it. I barely ask anybody for help. I really don't ask no one for help on, like, getting stuff. Because I'm getting it myself. And then sometimes... Sometimes I don't really ask for nothing, but like, it, is someone gonna get, give me something or help me on something? I'd be surprised. I'm like, oh, thank you. Because I'm not used to no one helping me on getting stuff or bringing stuff. I'm not used to that because I'm always bringing stuff to people. I'm always helping people. I'm always getting people stuff. I'm always blessing other people. I'm not used to like receiving blessings and prayers and all like that. I'm not used to none of that. Like, I don't know, because maybe I, I barely get that. I'm not used to, like, getting surprises and all like that. I'm not used to all that, because I'm always surprising other people. I'm always doing this and that for other people. But this time, I'm going to put myself last for, like, the gym and all like that. And, you know, I'm just going to make it happen or something, because I if I put myself last about the gym, I could have been smaller than this probably by now. And I gained all my weight back. But, yeah. I can't believe I'm over here recording. But, as y'all see, I'm in the freaking living room. And I am about to wait at it. I'm like, get rid of this. I'm getting rid of this couch. I don't want this couch. Um, I'm about to end this video right here. I feel like I'm missing something, but I pray for the people who's pregnant who already had their baby. I pray that their baby be healthy. They be healthy. 
It's so much I can keep going. Like, I don't know. God is talking to me. Somebody keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying and saying stuff. He's talking to me right now. But saying, huh? I'm about to end this video because my phone is going dead. Yeah. Don't, don't ask me what's on my shirt. Don't ask me. It's getting late. I feel like I've been up here for two or three hours talking. Hey. Practical. Um. Yeah, thank you for the people who've been with me for this long ass journey. Thank you for all the subscribers I have right now. Thank you. Um, y'all want me to do anything, say anything, leave a comment down below. Um, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to do some other vlogs, but lately I've been sick lately. And like the few vlogs, like I said, y'all see? I can't tell I'm sick or not. I was sick. I was. I was just. Um, I'm still a little sick a little bit, but not a lot. Right now, my ears are beeping. I'm hearing beeping noise right now. It's just it's irritating the crap out of me. But anyway, the beep is probably the beeping noise did not come in my ears until I got 20, 21, or 22. That's how I started hearing beeping noise in my ear. Probably 21, 22. It was mine, probably was my senior year probably i can't remember because it was not through no elementary middle school probably like the se the senior year or 2021 that's what i hate people, people like. but i'm about to end this vlog because my ass hurt sitting on this goddamn floor and i'm about to cook for these kids you know i cook earlier anyway I hope everybody enjoy this video. Please stay blessed in the Lord name, in Jesus name, and happy, happy belated Sunday. Happy, I hope everyone have a marvelous, beautiful Monday evening. I mean, the Lord be with y'all on y'all journey, wherever y'all headed today, your destination, wherever y'all headed. May the Lord be with y'all in Jesus name. I pray, Amen. Amen. Stay blessed. Love y'all.